Hi everyone, I just wanted to invite you to come hang out with me on twitch.tv slash thatneilj where you can watch these openings happen live. Sometimes I'll open up my lobbies to do hunts with viewers. And you can even choose which weapon I'm going to go to each hunt with. Thanks. Uh, but first thing we're doing today is charm opening. As per usual, we're going to talk about all the charms that we get. They When they did the update, apparently you can look at the... Uh, info on the skills now, which is good. I don't have to try to remember everything. Um, but we'll just, we're just gonna jump in and see what we got. You looked for it in the arena at first? Oh, I see. Alright, here we go. So first off, it looks like a decent number of red. That, that's alright. Uh, and then we're starting with a part breaker two. Defense boost one. I like part breaker, just in general. Breaking parts is fun. Uh, can get you a lot of, like, staggers and stuff in a lot of situations. Um, defense boost is just... Defense boost is a weird skill because it's perfectly fine, but I would never really want to look for it, I guess. In general, I don't want to look for it. But this is a decent talisman if you're looking for some part breaker. I don't feel like part breaker is that hard to find even though it's a two-slot gem, so this is okay. Uh, Bubbly Dance Maximum Might. Maximum Might, I think, is the one that gives you something on health, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, stamina. Okay. So if your stamina is full for a little bit of time, then you get this uh, affinity boost, which is decent. Um... Maximum Might is a kind of interesting skill if you're looking for that. You want to make the Rampage Horn? Can we do a Bushi Rampage or something later? Probably. Um, Bubbly Dance, I don't think combos particularly well with Maximum Might because the way you trigger Bubbly Dance, if you're going for the like Bubbly Dance Resuscitate thing. Hi, Haralad. Um... If you're going for that, you are doing three dodges to trigger it, which is going to use your stamina. But I could see this being usable in a in a certain thing. What do I think of a guard up two with reload speed two? Um It might work for a heavy bow gun, Willow. Um Heavy Bowgun, you can put a shield on it, which gives it a guard. I don't know if guard up applies to that shield. I know it applies to lances, gun lances, charge blade, and sword and shield. I don't know if the shield you can add on the optional shield on a heavy Bowgun benefits from it or not. Anyway. Uh, Botanist Wall Runner. This isn't great. Botanist is a really low tier skill. It's okay for a gathering set, I guess, but it's still the the lack of slots to level up the Wall Runner or Botanist kind of makes this meh. Uh, Speed Eating is actually a skill that is pretty hard to fit in these days. Watch the video on Evade Extender, and if you get just one level of it, it's worth it, but extra levels aren't. Uh, I didn't think the first level of it did that much. I thought, like, two levels of it was kind of a sweet spot for a lot of people. Some people think three is too much, with how much it gives you for distance movement. Uh, load Shells. Like, this, this skill, unfortunately, Speed Eating, is best for a support build. Load shells being for um, gun lance and uh, charge blade. Those aren't really going to fit into your your support build that well. Those weapons aren't really a support build weapon. Um, but if you really like speed eating, this is, this is decent because that's pretty hard to fit in. Uh, next up, Rapid Morph 1, Sleep Attack 1... With two level ones. Sleep attack is hard to get. It's a two tier. So is rapid morph. The fact that they're both only one tier here makes this feel kind of weak. If we'd gotten some better slots rolled on it, this could be decent. Uh, but not great. 
Weakness Exploit and Heartbreaker. No slots makes this unfortunate. Weakness Exploit is a pretty high tier skill for a lot of people, a lot of builds. Uh, and I just like Heartbreaker, but no slots on this means this is all you're ever going to get out of this Talisman, which makes it feel kind of underpowered. Okay. This is pretty decent, actually. Recovery speed is kind of a decent quality of life skill. Uh, and Paralysis Attack is a tier 2 gem right now. Uh, most of the, the status attacks are tier 2 gems now. So getting two of it on this with a tier 2 slot means you could turn this into a Paralysis Attack Talisman with just a nice quality of life on it, especially if you were running a uh, Lance or something, a Paralysis Lance. The recovery speed is going to give you your red health back uh, that you take from guarding a lot of attacks back really well. Uh, this, is, this is pretty usable. That's actually pretty decent. Dream Talisman is attack up plus spare shot. And level two the hell the that's something to look for wow this is pretty good this is a very good talisman rapid morph two uh with a tier two slot means you can make this a rapid morph three really easily uh constitution is just kind of decent uh especially if you are running um like, this is really good for Charge Blade, because Constitution with the... Will give you... Make it so you can block things better. It'll give you less of a stamina hit when blocking with that weapon. Uh, but the Rapid Morph 2 on it already, that's that's really decent. With the extra two level 1 slots. This is a really good Talisman, actually. Very situational. There's only two weapons that can use Rapid Morph. But this is really good. You run Constitution five, Stamina Surge three. Yeah, I mean, if you're running a, you're a bow main. Those are those are really high tier skills for bow. Uh, Horn Maestro, Blight Resistance. This one is actually pretty piddly. Uh, the tier three slot is a lot better after the patch that we had. There are some good tier three gems now. Uh, but Horn Maestro taking up a bit. Horn Maestro is very easy to slot in. And Blight Resistance is kind of a fine skill, but you'd never... You wouldn't run this. I cannot find a place where you would run that talisman. Uh, Bubbly Dance 2. Bubbly Dance 2 on your talisman right off the bat. Pretty decent if you're looking for a Bubbly Dance build. Uh, Fire Resistance, not amazing to find here. Tier 1 slots on it are fine. Uh, really, the Bubbly Dance having two slots here means that you could... Uh, you could open up some other Tier 2 slots in your build. Say Bubbly Dance build again. I will. Um, you could open up some other Tier 2 slots or armor slots to not run the Mizu armor. Um, so this could be decent for you. Botanist Water Attack. If you're trying to gather stuff, this is fine. But that's really just about having Botanist. You'd never really want to run this in a normal build. So the Water Attack is kind of meh. This, this is a pretty bad one. Uh, recovery Up and Critical Element. Critical Element is relatively hard to slot in right now. And not very many armors run it, unless some of the new ones do. I don't know about some of the the new armors from this patch with the new monsters. One of them might have critical element on it, I'm not sure. Um, but no slots means this is going to be pretty hard to run, unless you just really need it. Quick Sheath 1, Wirebug Whisper. Quick Sheath is a good skill for Longsword. Wirebug Whisper is fine on everything, but this is a really low, low rarity, uh, low roll on your Talisman. You can get a lot better. Uh, Ballistics is the renamed, uh, this used to be called Aim Booster. Uh, it's actually a very good skill. 
especially for some bow gun builds. Um, like if you if you get tier three extended range for your bow gun, you can make it so that a spread shot is pretty much in critical distance for almost the entirety that it's in range, which is really good. I should get five more followers. I would love to. You're out of Zenny right now. You feel less inclined to try new weapons. That's fair. Uh, I have definitely spent some time. You might see that I have a lot of Zenny right now. I, <laughs> I spent like a couple hours just mining stuff in a zone while listening to a podcast the other night. Uh, I was literally just listening to the podcast and running around the zone to make Zenny, just so I wouldn't be out of it because I was running out so much. Anyway, ballistics, very good skill. This is a low tier talisman, unfortunately. Sell monster hearts you, parts you don't need, but my monster parts get fed into my talisman rolling. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Slugger, divine blessing. I like slugger a lot. I like Divine Blessing a lot as a quality of life skill. Unfortunately, only Slugger 1 on this uh, makes it feel kind of weak. But this, if you don't have a better, like a Slugger Tier 2 uh, Talisman or something, this is totally runnable. The two, the two Tier 1 slots on it give you a little bit of extra stuff. One Slug Talisman. Uh, speed Sharpening, Dragon Attack... <sighs> I don't really like getting the elemental attacks on a on a talisman like this because it makes it feel a lot more limited in the builds you're gonna make with it. And speed sharpening one makes us feel kind of weak. The the slots are good, but the skills don't really add up to something that I I feel like you'd want to run here. Sleep resistance, reload speed. Y'all know how I feel about resistances. I think they're really easy to slot if you feel like you need them. Um, reload speed only tier 1 means this isn't really that great. If this was a tier 2 reload speed, I could see you running it just if you didn't have something better. Uh, but not really not really worth it, I think, with, the, with this setup. Counter-Strike 2 Punishing Draw. This is a weird one. Um, Counter-Strike is a skill that I feel like is really situational. It's it's good. If you, if you get all three tiers of it and you have a good way to trigger it, uh, 25 attack is nothing to laugh at. It is, it is a big attack boost. But it's one of those skills that feels like Unless you're doing something really specific and setting yourself up for it, you're really just getting it from making mistakes. And the better you get, the less you're going to trigger it. So it's it's a really weird skill in that way. Um, the fact that it's with Punishing Draw seems okay. Because there's a lot of situations where you might get hit. Counter-Strike will trigger. And then if you wire fall out of getting hit there... Uh, that automatically sheaths your weapon. So whatever attack you're doing out of that wirefall, you'll get the punishing draw from. So these two skills actually do match up okay. Uh, but it still feels like kind of a weird talisman to, to build around. Uh, but three tier one slots, pretty decent. You, you can fit a lot of quality of life stuff into this on top of what it's giving you here, so... Not bad. This is okay. Uh, Constitution 2 Tremor Resistance. Tremor Resistance is a weird one. Uh, extremely situational, so I don't really see yourself, anyone looking for it. Uh, but Constitution 2 is decent. The Tier 1 slots, I, I wish it was Tier 2s because I think t Constitution is a Tier 2. So if you were trying to make a Constitution Talisman for a Dual Blades or Bow build... That'd make this a little better, but you still want to try heavy bowgun, hammer, and dual blades. Yeah, the the zenny cost on a lot of stuff can can 
feel rough for trying to try new stuff in this game for sure in HQ. Uh, Pierce up one with the tier one. It's okay. Um, I would have really loved to see this as a tier two Pierce up. But if you're looking for Pierce up, this is fine. If you If you are like, I need Pierce up. This is fine. It gives you a tier one, which which lets you put in like a flinch freer or a uh, free meal or something, if that's what you, you want. This is okay. Earplugs, dragon attack. This is pretty bad. Earplugs is situational. It's a nice quality of life, but it's situational and dragon attack really limits what else you can do with this talisman. Uh, part breaker, fortify. I like part breaker, like I've said. But Fortify is a skill that gets less useful the better you get at the game. Because uh, we can read it here. The, the buff it gives you uh, increases your attack and defense when you cart. So every time you cart, it gets a little bit better. Um, but the better you get at this game, the less you're going to cart, the less useful that skill becomes. And thus, the less useful this talisman becomes. Uh, wide range special ammo boost. Not really a great combo. Um, I guess if you are doing a bow support build, which you could do given the arc shot buffs, uh, wide range is another piece of a support build. And special ammo boost does apply to Dragon Piercer, the bow attack. So that could be okay. But not really what you're looking for in that in that combo. Uh, in that support build. Ballistics 2 earplugs. This is okay. Getting 2 off of your ballistics right off the bat. And again, ballistics is the renamed aim booster. Uh, getting 2 right off the bat is decent. And earplugs is just a quality of life thing. No slots makes this a little bit unfortunate, um, but the the two ballistics does mean this could be good. This could open up an armor slot for you to put something else in there pretty good. I get all the good ones. I get a lot of good gunner ones, which is unfortunate because I'm not a gunner player, really. Um, speed eating reloads. Oh, man. Uh... So speed eating is the other part of a support build that you're really looking for. Like if you get wide range and speed eating together, that is like the dream combo. Um, but getting a reload speed can be decent. Again, if you're doing the bow support thing. Uh, because reload speed, if you can get it to two, gives you the automatic bow coat loading, which is really good. Um, and the, the speed eating is just a good piece of the support build because speed eating in wide range means you are able to use your items quicker to get the bonus of wide range spreading your, your buffs to everybody. Um, but again, this is kind of a, if you're playing the bow thing, maybe, but, but not quite the combo you're looking for again. This is actually a pretty good talisman for longsword uh quick sheath is extremely good for longsword it gives you a way to get into your quick sheath or into your special sheath faster um and peak performance is a skill that gives you a bonus an attack boost when your health is at full so if you are if you are a really good longsword player you're not really going to be taking damage. So peak performance is actually a pretty good skill for you. Um, you're getting all those parries. You're never taking damage. Peak performance is great. And quick sheath combos into that. So this is actually a pretty good talisman if you're looking for it. Um, no slots is a little unfortunate. But this could still be a very good piece to your puzzle. This is a pretty good one. Uh, speed sharpening, divine blessing. Two nice quality of life skills, uh, but I don't think they combo in a way that really gives you a lot here with the tier one slots, so not great, but 
Yeah, this one's not great. You, you'd hope for, for uh, more out of this one. Guard one. Uh, is, which one does guard do? Impact. Okay. Yeah, this one's not anything you'd want to run. <laughs> I don't think that one was good enough. This one already. We go to the next one. Guard two. This one's a little closer to runnable. Uh, wall runner is neat, but extremely, extremely niche. So not great. Long sword with heroics for the ultimate YOLO. Totally. Totally. Uh, peak performance is a little bit less YOLO and gives you similar bonuses. Uh, so probably a better combo than heroics, but, but I get you. Uh, wall runner is extremely niche. So not great the guard is okay if you're looking for specific lance or gun lance stuff that you're trying to do uh but no slots makes this really feel like it's not quite there okay this ain't bad i could i could see this being run uh again ballistics is the aim booster two levels of this is good Evade Extender, changing the amount of distance you move is actually pretty good. Uh, especially t level 2 right off the bat. You can really move. Uh, especially with Heavy Bowgun, Evade Extender becomes a pretty good... A pretty good skill for you because it can really help the Heavy Bowgun get out of the way with its kind of side hop that it can do out of a shot. Um, and ballistics giving you that extra critical range means, like, the, these are actually pretty good. Similarly, the light bow gun, uh, evade extender, if you're using the quick step, um, the quick step switch skill, which takes away your roll for a shorter range hop, uh, evade extender becomes more useful for that. This is a pretty good one. This is this is something I could really see a gunner wanting to use. No slots is a little unfortunate, but these are two good skills that a, a gunner could want. Uh, Master Mounter, we've talked about a lot. I think I had it wrong uh, exactly what it did. So, fills your right engage easier, which I dislike, and increase ease of parrying, which I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I didn't know that there was a parry. I know there's like the dodge, but I'm not really sure what the parry is for wyvern riding. It must just be talking about the dodge, right? Uh, maybe it makes the wire bugs come back faster for that or something. Uh, but at any rate, filling your gauge easier doesn't feel great to me because it means you are riding for less time um which in some ways is nice but in other ways when you get that ride if you are just going for the damage and stuff filling that gauge faster means you are getting less damage out of it if you ask me it feels like you're getting less damage out of it so that doesn't seem great um so this is kind of a crappy talisman wow Normal wrap it up too. No slots, unfortunately. Heroics is a risky skill. Uh, gives you bonuses when you're low on health. Uh, you can see that here. Increased defense by 50 points at 1. Then you get an attack and defense boost uh, as it levels up. And it goes up to 5, which is wild. I don't understand what 5 means, though. Like, would you not ever want this to be 5? I guess the attack boost goes way up, but maybe you lose the defense boost, is what it's saying. I don't really understand what level 5 of heroics means, 100%. Um, I, it must just be you get a huge attack bonus, but the defenses go away. Um, kind of a weird one. I don't really see a gunner looking for this necessarily. But the normal wrap it up is really, really good. Two of it already. 
even without slots, two normal wrap it up is really decent. Uh, maybe not as good for bow guns. Normal normal shots are bleh, but rapid on on bow is really good. Protective polish, water attack. Protective polish is a really cool skill when you sharpen. You so it's only a melee skill. When you sharpen, your sharpness gauge will not deplete for a set amount of time. I believe it's 30 seconds per level. Yeah, 30 seconds per level. Um, not the easiest skill to find. It's really limited on what armors have it. And I think it's a tier 2 gem. It might even be a tier 3 in this game. I can't remember for sure. Um... But it's pretty decent. Unfortunately, paired with water attack and tier 1 slots means this is not a very good talisman. Uh, quick sheath dragon attack. I don't really like getting the attacks on talismans. You, you, you all know that. Power prolonger is a really awesome skill. Water resistance is a really not awesome skill. 1 tier 3 is fine, but not really runnable. Uh, power prolonger, by the way, I should have I talked about. Uh, it extends the amount of time certain buffs last. Mostly, uh, it's only certain weapons. I know Switch Axe and Insect Glaive are two of them that get it. Uh, two important ones to me that get it. Uh, lets your amp state last longer and lets your like triple buff from Insect Glaive last longer. Counter, Strike, Water Attack. We talked about both of these already. I don't really like getting the elemental attacks. Uh... On my talismans, they're really niche. Counter Strike also feels extremely niche, so so bleh. Wirebug Whisper, Speed Sharpener, quality of life skills, but not really a great pairing, let alone a high enough roll. Do you not like the way I say niche? Do you like niche? Should I say niche niche more? I don't even know what Marathon Runner does. Uh, slows down stamina depletion for continuously draining things like dashing. Um, that seems extremely niche. Also, my niche. Are you happy? Uh, if Marathon Runner applies to demon mode. I can see it being useful for that, but kind of a niche skill. We talked about four or five. Free meals are really nice quality of life, um, but this isn't really a great talisman. All those, all these fortifies. Look, game. I get it. I play sloppy. I'm not going to run Fortify. Uh, Resentment is a skill I actually like a lot. Um, especially if you're playing... Whoops. If you're playing, uh, like, Great Sword or something. Um, where you're going to be taking damage. Uh, like with Rage Slash, taking damage. Um, while trying to dish it out at the same time. Resentment can buff your attack. Uh, as you can see by quite a bit at level 5, but it'll it'll buff your attack while you have uh, recoverable health, the, the red portion of your health bar. Uh, so this can be good. Only one level of it and no slots means this isn't really runnable, but it's a neat skill. Reload speed, Hellfire Cloak. Uh, if you're going for a Hellfire build, this is maybe runnable. If you don't have better reload speed already for a bow gun or or bow, but no slots means it's kind of meh. Bombardier Bludgeoner. Bludgeoner is going to get weaker as the game uh, gives us better and better weapons. But there are some weapons I've seen that have just like huge amounts of green where Bludgeoner becomes a viable skill. Uh, but Bombardier... Basil Goose was a pretty easy fight. I like Basil Juice a lot. My my boy Basil. Uh, Bombardier only affects items. Uh, the explosive damage of explosive items. 
So this is like your barrel bombs. I don't really think this skill is usually worth it unless you're doing something really specific. Uh, so kind of a bad, bad talisman there. Stamina Surge, decent. Only one level with some good slots. The slots are good. Only one level of Stamina Surge kind of makes this eh. But I guess I could see you running it. Water Attack, Ice Attack. You're never going to need both of these attacks at once. That's a useless talisman. Poison Attack, Earplugs. Again, so so Poison Attack is the only Ella, or uh, not element, status attack that is a tier one gem. So this is a weaker talisman than it looks. And Earplugs is just quality of life, so not great. Um, but we got some good ones in here. Paralysis Attack 2, pretty good. This one actually might be a best in slot for me right now on some of my builds, which is kind of awesome. Um, Evade Extender Ballistics, I think this is a very decent talisman. No slots, but very decent. Quick Sheath Peak Performance, again, no slots, but extremely decent for a longsword build. And uh, this normal wrap it up too. Like we got, we got some good stuff.